Okay, so welcome back. This is the third video looking at the uh, board game component creation tool, Paperize, which is open source and works on top of Google Drive right now. In this video, we're going to look at how to add dynamic images to components, in this case, a card. And I'm going to add images in a different way than I did before, just to show that you can add upload images in different places. You could use this one, this, uh, this button. Uh, as well, but I'm going to go right into the template, add an image layer, which I already did. Let's actually remove that so you can see how to add an image layer. Uh, and in the image selection thing here, um, I can also upload images. So let's do that. You can see it's already selected the images folder, which is good. Choosing files. And you might remember from the previous video that I was a bit hesitant to use this long file names. So now I'm instead using image one to image seven. Let's upload these. Now they're being processed somewhere in the background. And in a few seconds, I should have a list here where I can say start upload. And as you can see here, it's well to it's good to remember that you should upload you must upload everything that Paperize should touch on your Google Drive through Paperize. Come on, why didn't this work? Okay, let's try uploading from here instead. Oh, okay, now uh, okay, now it's been processed. Just took a while. It might be my connection, might be my VPN or something else. So now we have three copies of each, which is a bit too much. One of each is better. Start uploading. Here we go. If I just had a bit uh, been a bit more patient, this would have been fine. It's probably my computer, my connection, and my VPN, but it could be something in paper. I, I don't know. You'll see. Okay, so now we have these seven images uploaded. And now I want to have a dynamic image selection. And I can here now have a prefix, which could be Im image space. And then use, we don't yet have image number here let's have an image id or something and let's say we use one two and three for these oops here now we have to reload a bit here and then paper as will pick up we have a new uh, column called image id so image space image id dot png will result in image one dot p PNG for this card, which gives us an image. Yay! Now we should change the dimensions to have this kind of working. Let's start at 15 millimeters, perhaps. So we have the title, yeah. And let's have the height of 20 millimeters. Can that be fine? Let's have 24, and everyone will be happy. Okay, you can see that I'm a professional graphic designer here. Uh, image alignment, you could have fill in this case, stre uh, stretching it out, but not uh, change the proportion of, of the image. So we fill the entire frame, uh, but things might be left outside. Fit means scale down to have everything fit within this uh, frame of the layer. Or stretch means use 100% of the picture, but rescale it to make it ugly. I'm going to use fill. For now, you could use whatever you want, of course. And here we have uh, where, where you should start top or uh, you get it or experiment with it if you don't get it and you will get it eventually. This is called image right now. That's fine. And that's it for this video. I think how to add images uh, in a dynamic way. And I could here 
not only use one, two, three, I could also use banana. And then card number four here will try to pick up, let's reload, go to card number four. It will say image not found with the name image space banana.png. But this um, could have been a way to, to create images, or image name and, uh, and upload. You get the idea, I hope. All right, uh, that's it. We'll look at something else in the next video. Perhaps we'll look at magic properties. I think that's a good thing. See you there. Bye.